And I'm going to show you what I've done with my Excel document. The smallest numbers at the time, because there is no neither smallest and largest, mm. that would be different. At the time, well, this would be a previous record. The next one is the fourth pick, which is 352 by this guy, BW. He also had one smaller number before that, 96, which was the first number to be on the first slide. Shortly after, another pick came through on the same day where I had 60, and then the biggest possible number at the time. It was not long before new picks would come around every couple of days. Now, notice that I've marked this cell as orange, because it used to be the lowest number picked at the time, 23. But then the next pick was even lower. Now, this one's in red because it's the second smallest number. The one below, I'll show you, these were previous records, and I'm going to ignore them. The smallest number at the time was 1. After that, no more smaller numbers could happen. And Arby was the unlucky guy who got 1 at the time. It's now been three weeks since this pick has happened. It's still the only one to be one. Uh, so I'll sort by smallest to largest. They start from one, and then two in red. But I never got too unlucky with any of the red cells. The only time I ever got really unlucky was with the 1st of September, 1856. And I'm going to go, so the first, the largest number down at the bottom right now, is the current record, and then this is the second and third number, they're both from the same person, and they're actually a bit different. They're previous records. If you see them, count them, let me see how many previous records you can find. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now that was a big gap. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 36, 31, 33 records, but one of them has to be current. So that's it. I'm done with the song orders and the song picks. See you on the next status update for my song picks.